Bratnam School of International Studies, and he joins me now live from Singapore. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us on the program. Now, last day of talks, Pleasure. and uh, both sides are expecting a no-deal Brexit. What do you think the immediate effects of that scenario would be on both sides, and how can we expect people to react to a no-deal Brexit? Well, I think, first of all, what we're seeing is possibly a high-stakes poker game. With other words, by Sunday evening Central European time, we'll know whether there's a deal or not, and whether a lot of this drama was in preparation of a deal that may both sides may not like. But more probably, indeed, is a uh, no-deal exit from the, uh, from the European Union. And I think that what you're going to see is that more Britain than the uh, European Union is going to be hard hit by that. There's no indication that the UK is really prepared for this. And it comes at a moment at which the economy is already depressed as a result of the economic uh, fallout of the pandemic. How transparent do you think Boris Johnson has been with the people of Britain when it comes to what they could possibly uh, face in a no-deal Brexit scenario? I don't think he's been transparent at all. But to be fair, I don't think that his uh, predecessors have been that transparent about it. You've had a very uh, glossy p uh, picture painted onto what a no-deal Brexit would mean. And it's going to be interesting to see once uh, the impact of a no uh, a no-deal Brexit takes place, how Britons will react to that, particularly in the middle of an already depressed economy. Right. As I mentioned, fisheries is one of the key issues that's being laid out on the negotiating table, and thousands of jobs in the EU are in fisheries alone that are at risk now. And experts say a no-deal Brexit could be the worst scenario for mainstream citizens and how their lives will change. Do you agree with that? Well, to be fair, for example, on fisheries, uh, it's going to be a problem on both sides of the, of, of, the, of, the, of the English Channel. With other words, there's going to be the access to fishing waters, but there's also the issue of manufacturing and, and processing of seafood. And there, the, Britain has until now relied heavily on facilities in Europe. It doesn't have sufficient facilities to process all the fish that it would be catching or all the seafood it would be catching in British waters. And how divided do you think opinions are among EU leaders when it comes to striking a deal? I think they're divided. But on the other hand, I also think that they realize that there's no way that they can give the sort of special conditions to the United Kingdom that Boris Johnson wants because that would truly undermine the, uh, the level playing field for European players. All right, James Dorsey, thank you so much for joining us on the program. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show. My pleasure.